This is a Deutsch connector. So uh, this is a 12 pin, they come in different sizes, different number of pins. So basically a way of connecting, you know, 12 wires with one plug or two or three or four or whatever. We use these all over the car, uh, often commonly the smaller, uh, to be technical, DTM size, but it's just one brand of plug that we really like. It's really easy to work with with hand tools rather than if it's being assembled by a machine. The thing about that is though, that it's gotta be about the right tools. So if I disassemble this plug and you can see the individual little sockets in here. And so that's made up of a, you know, on one side of that plug is a pin and the other side is a socket. And those two go together. The thing about that is you first come into this and you think, okay, well I'm making these and these aren't cheap in themselves. Each one of these pins is like a dollar. But you look at the tool and you think, I want to crimp this around a piece of wire and you look at this tool and it's $30 and you think, well, that, that'll do. That's what a tool should cost. Because you look at the next one up and it's $800. And you think, that's ridiculous. I will never need to spend that much money on a tool to press a bit of metal around a wire. So you put that aside and you don't buy it. And then you start to use this one a lot and it doesn't work very well. It doesn't crimp reliably and every time it fails, you're losing a dollar and it hurts your hand and there's not much, you know, there's not much leverage. It, you know, the, the distance has got to be perfect, all this kind of stuff. So eventually, it's late, you succumb to buying the good tool. You're making a lot of these. It's a critical part of, it is the critical part of the car. It's what makes everything go. You need these to be right. And you buy the good tool and it changes everything. And sometimes the good tool is a rip off Sometimes it's totally worth it. If you're doing Deutsch connectors, I would recommend seriously considering buying the proper DTM crimp tool. So just to do a little crimp with one, get some of this uh, wire. I strip off just the right amount of cable. Put one of these pins on. Now the thing that, that Deutsch will say in the instructions is you want to have just the tiniest little speck of wire showing at the back of the pin proves that you haven't you're not going to crimp any insulation and in that little sighting hole that you can see there you want to be able to see a bit of wire in that too so you've got your you know you know that's the right length what they officially want you to do then well what you should do you change you know this has a a width whereas the other cheap tool is just like whatever your hand feels this is like how big is the pin we know this is a 16 gauge pin we know that we drop this into the hole this little hole and then it's about sitting at the right height so we adjust the depth gauge to get it just right because you want that to crimp right in the middle of the receptacle on the pin i tighten this to get it just right i'm doing this live this it's going to be embarrassing if this doesn't work. I insert the wire and then I crimp and I bring it out. And you can see I have, hard to focus that close, but you can see I have a perfect little crimp around just the central bit of wire I want. It's like a double crimp on all four sides and all things being correct, it should be able to insert into a hole very, very easily. This is like 999 times out of a thousand, this works every time. Um, and I just, yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. Good tools are great, right? And it's often a personal thing and it's just like, oh, it's nice to use these little, you know, Japanese wire strippers, but uh, cheaper wire strippers work just as well. There is a massive difference between the $30 tool and the $800 tool. I don't know if it's that much money, but with nothing in between, do yourself a favor if you're making Deutsch connections by this.